From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a major night on the evening's LA. As stimulous as you once knew it, it changed. I'll have the latest details tonight. Good evening. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, massive stimulus is available for this viewership of this channel, the Purple Power Massive Stimulus FSC. $300,000 of checks, 300 checks. And I'm going to show you how to get them in this recording. Inflation release stimulus checks, lifetime stimulus checks, but all that stimulus that you thought and wondered would come back in 2020 got a new twist tonight. All the latest details across the board. The value of you and membership in this community went through the roof overnight because this is where all the stimulus remained. And this is where that stimulus will continue to next year. New additional types of stimulus that Donut Guy had hoped for, not so delicious tonight. We'll go over the latest details across the board. But the breaking news that we're dealing with is the Federal Reserve. Commentary from the Fed governors this week has been conflicting. In the last hour at least, even so, we have comments from Daly, Boulard, and Waller. And we're gonna go over why these comments are very conflicting and their prognosis and their analysis is also conflicting. It's important because it's what's going on with your money. It's also looking at the markets, the latest details on Target and Walmart, and also Lowe's heating up tonight's recording as apparel is falling apart, travel and leisure surging, but certain industries not being consistent left and right. We'll go over the latest details, what the Federal Reserve governors are looking at, and what you and I are looking at to gauge this economy. Those corporate earnings continue to miss and flip and flop. What do you need to know and what's at issue as well? We count down the latest details on the job creation number, which is one of the very big benchmarks of what the Federal Reserve is looking for as well. And we'll be looking at the massive raise of your benefits that may get two more raises on top of that. On the shores of Santa Monica, California, your benefit raise, your housing market, your unemployment, your forced stimulus, all that and more. A breaking news tonight in prime time from Evenings LA. I'm excited you're here. It's a big show and it's a big night with more success being obtained by viewers in the last 24 hours. I'll detail that tonight as Evenings LA gets underway. And good evening, everybody. It's a big night here from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Breaking news on the flip and flop of the Senate and the House, the Republicans and the Democrats. The confusing details on what's happening with Target, Walmart, Lowe's of those corporate earnings, not consistent as well. And then the flip and flop also of what's happening with the Federal Reserve governors. Very conflicting comments coming out in just the last few hours of all the latest breaking details tonight in tonight's recording. First, of course, we lead with the announcement from Nancy Pelosi, one Speaker of the House no longer. Today, she announced she's resigning as Speaker of the House. Of course, the Democrats lost the House, so she would no longer be Speaker. She could have stayed on as minority leader, but that she's, that's a position she's not interested in. Kevin McCarthy is the new Speaker of the House because the Republicans have taken in the House of Representatives. Over in the Senate, the Democrats did retain ownership of the Senate and control the Senate and actually picked up more seats. So the latest makeup of the political balance of power tonight is the following. The House has a leadership of Republican at issue, but a very thin margin, a number of seats. Republicans lead in the Senate, in the House, but just only by a few seats. Over in the Senate, the Democrats actually have a larger lead than initially last year. That is potentially negating the Chris and Sinema and Joe Manchin factor, but confusing across the board. And that is in view of whether or not they lose in that Georgia runoff seat in December, Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock, really a non-factor because they have enough gain to seats. So you will now have for 2023 a Republican House and a Democratic Senate and a Democratic President. What does that mean for the balance of power? And what does it mean for next stimulus? It's coming up later in this recording. What's important for you to know tonight, and this is very, very important, is that all the incredible stimulus featured on this channel all this year 
federal stimulus checks, FSC, inflation relief stimulus checks, LSC, ISC, and lifetime stimulus checks all are law, and they will not be changed or canceled or revoked because of the midterm elections, because neither party has enough control of either chamber that they, of both chambers, such that they can remove the law. So all the stimulus I have for you will stay as law, and all that stimulus is still paying out. So that's great news across the board. And that's why the value of the Purple Power community went through the roof overnight. Because anyone who was really not part of the Purple Power community and was sitting back and waiting for something to happen like 2020, not going to happen, something like 2021 or early 2022, where Democrats control both branches of Congress, not going to happen. This is happening, and this stimulus, FSC, ISC, and lifetime stimulus will continue into the next year. And I'm going to show you how to get these massive checks, nearly $300,000 of checks. Viewers are getting them. And tonight we have one new viewer who got additionally a whopping sums of money, nearly $20,000 for her. Incredible great news. Let's go to the other major story we're working on tonight, which is the retail sales those third quarter numbers coming in, and the Federal Reserve governors. Let's go with the retail sales first. Retail sales refers especially to apparel, clothing, and those clothing numbers are very confusing. Walmart beat, Target missed, Lowe's beat, BJ's beat, and other companies missed. So what's going on? First, we start with Target. Target, the major big box retailer, said that the demand was not there for the consumer because of recessionary and inflationary pressures. So their sales number were a major miss, 50% down in the third quarter. Today, we had more numbers from retailers, and guess what they were? Some mirroring the trouble over at Target, others a little bit different. Let's jump over to Kohl's. Kohl's did mirror the problem that Target had as well. Kohl's miss, but Macy's, which again, you would assume is higher end consumers, beat. Macy's stock was up 10% in pre-market trading as the retailer reported better than expected earnings. Beating on top, revenue beating on bottom. Macy's with a totally different story than Target 24 hours ago. BJ's was as a wholesaler, not here in Los Angeles, but a wholesaler beat on top and beat on bottom. Its stock was up 3% in pre-market trading. But Kohl's, which you may put somewhere slightly lower than a Macy's, but higher than potentially, let's say, uh, well, definitely higher than a Dollar General, a Dollar Tree, and definitely higher than a Target, it was still down 4% in pre-market trading after it had big problems. What were those big problems from Kohl's? It's coming in just a second. And Alibaba, which is a very big Chinese retailer, it had very big issues today. That stock beat, um, but sh was shorter than analysts expected. It was at 2% down in pre-market trading. The Kohl's data today was the major story. Why? Not so much that Kohl's missed on top and bottom, but that Kohl's revoked, pulled, canceled their year-end guidance. Why would someone cancel year-end guidance for earnings? They're basically saying the economic changes in the U.S. economy have been so dramatic that their guidance numbers are wrong. They actually had admitted that. They say the macroeconomic factors of this U.S. economy have actually turned for the negative and unexpected internal changes have caused them to cancel, eliminate their year-end guidance that they had released months ago. That stock was down 7% uh, with revenue in third quarters reported today, and the stock fell at least 4% in pre-market trading. Wow, not good. Now, when you jump over to the other major break story we're dealing with tonight, it is even a little bit more bizarre. It's the Federal Reserve, and that Federal Reserve has been that guiding force of consistent messaging over the last eight months. The Federal Reserve has repeated the same message since that I even taught you no less than two days ago to repeat the same messaging they're repeating, which is they continue to raise interest rates until they get inflation to 2%, over several months, and until they achieve that, they're going to stay course. Pretty simple. Raise rates to get to 2% inflation over several months. That 2% inflation would be reflected in something like a CPI number released once a month. Well, tonight, a totally different story. 
And their story is coming because we've had now four governors, and we'll have another one potentially after this broadcast airs later tonight. That's, um, I believe, George, that are saying very different things in less than 24 hours. Is there any consistency in their message? The only consistency in the message, number one, is that they need to see the inflationary number still at 2%, and they need to see that inflationary number for 2% for several months. That they agree upon. Other than that, they're disagreeing upon a lot of stuff all of a sudden for the first time this entire year. What are they disagreeing upon? Number one, the data. Wow, they're disagreeing upon which data to use Let's go over to the details. Mary Daly, the Fed governor of San Francisco, says she wants live data. She wants live data like you and I. She wants to go into the community and ask the landlords, are they reducing the rent? Are the tenants, are they seeing the rent reduce? She said that yesterday. That's different than, than a Wallace, who spoke last night, and certainly Boulard, who spoke this morning, who says they'll use something like the CPI released last week, which is a one-month-ago data. Yes, the CPI, the PPI, the personal consumption expenditure, are data for the prior month. Mary Daly doesn't want that. She wants the live data right now. The data from last month showed that the rent was going up 1%. Mary Daly saying the rent's going down in the live data. Oh boy, if we can't agree upon which data to look at, then we have a big problem, don't we? Live data may be more accurate, according to Mary Daly, I agree. Delay data that's one month ago may be now stale it may be wrong now here is what makes this even more bizarre <laughs> wallace minutes ago said he does not believe the difference between the live and the current data is uh, the live and the delay data is that more dramatic let's analyze this across the board what we're trying to look at is seeing if the inflation is coming down and that suddenly between data that's one month old, the inflation drop suddenly picked up pace really, really quickly. Basically, if we all agree that inflation's coming down, then Wallace is looking to see, and Boulard especially, looking to see whether the rate of inflation coming down has somehow accelerated. Nonsense, in my opinion, yes. Why do I think it's nonsense? Jump in the live chat. Go over the data with me right now. We're talk I want to talk with you about right now, November situation. I want to talk about October. I want to talk about November. So we're going to use live data with you right now. Do you see the rent going down? Rent, comma, up, comma, down in your state. Jump in the live chat. What do you see? Number two, groceries. Re groceries going up, comma, down, comma, your state. I see groceries the same or up, comma, California. So I don't see it going down at all. What about the utility bills? <laughs> no. Utilities up, comma, California. So is there anything that's actually plummeting, free-falling, falling very dramatically, such that we need to switch from delayed data to live data? Yeah, you see how I'm doing this. Is there something that's falling so dramatically, the inflationary element of something like utilities? Are utilities falling so quickly that you got to switch from delayed data from one month ago to live data? No. So I think this is almost like buffoonery. I think this is sort of being crazy because none of the data was dramatically down. Let's go back for the, let's use the data as our, as our uh, rallying cry. When we look at that consumer price index a few days ago, what were the only three numbers down? Used cars, 2.3% down. Medical, 07 And also we had, excuse me, apparel, 07 And medical, 06 so they were slightly down, and that was it. Everything up, everything else was up a lot. In fact, some of these numbers were up the largest of a generation in just one month. So why would we have a debate among Federal Reserve governors about live versus delayed data? I don't think it makes sense. Let's go to the next subject matter they're not agreed upon. The next subject matter they're not agreed upon is whether or not they believe these interest rate spikes will carry us into 2024, 2023. Daily seemed to suggest that this would only carry us into 2023. We would be done in 2023. Wallace and then and then George, uh, actually, who I missed or yesterday, she came in after the market closed. And then, uh, excuse me, Waller, not Wallace. And then um, also uh, the latest comments today from Boulard 
suggests there's now a dissent, a disagreement about when they're going to achieve what they're going to achieve. Some of them now suggest it may be achieved next year. Others suggesting, no, it will stay in, into the next year. The only last thing that they potentially can agree upon, and this is critical, is that maybe 75 basis point is no longer warranted. 75 basis point increase for interest rates is likely now off the table and heading back to a 50 basis point for that next FOMC meeting. And that's likely where they're heading because they do see that there is some pullback. But let's go over the comments that they actually said, and it may be confusing across the board. Waller, minutes ago, looking forward to the next meeting. The data of the past few weeks has made me more comfortable in looking, stepping down to a 50 basis point. So he's happy with 50 basis point. But I wouldn't make a judgment on that until I see more data like the personal consumption expenditure index released December 1st. That was Waller. Then, uh... And that was, excuse me, late Wednesday. Then this morning, we had Boulard out of St. St. Louis saying, so far, what we've done in the Federal Reserve appears to have had only a limited effect on inflation. But market pricing suggests that disinflation is not, is not expected to happen until 2023. So he says that inflation has really not come down at all and don't expect it to happen until 2023. Then Mary Daly yesterday early in the morning said, no, 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 I'm seeing some drops and I'm seeing some drops, especially in rent very very dissenting so suddenly for the first time on this channel this entire year we have fed governors starting to disagree about the data which data to use disagreeing upon what the data means and disagreeing about how far out we are going to be taking these interest rate spikes oh boy this is where it gets a little bit dicey and remember what we talked about that financial cliff for January 2023, it's a big story. And that financial cliff, you and I all know it's going to happen. That's when millions of Americans are going to say, oh boy, I ran up too much travel and leisure, hotel and airs on the credit card. I need some stimulus. What do you have for me? And that answer is right now. I have three categories of stimulus checks for you. In tonight's broadcast and all this week, federal stimulus checks, inflation relief stimulus checks, and lifetime stimulus checks. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Let's go over the details of them right now. The first are federal stimulus checks, nearly $300,000 of them, 300 different checks. And I'll go over those FSCs for you in just a second. These became a law from the federal government, paid by the federal government, sent by the federal government. Your states have nothing to do with them. Next up, inflation relief stimulus checks. These are from your states and they're absolutely incredible. Then a lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Three categories of stimulus, but nearly 300 different checks. We can go over each of them with you one at a time in just a second. How do you get them? You become part of this incredible community, the Pearl Power community, by becoming a member. Go into this video and join the channel Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Become a member, get that newsletter Monday through Friday from LA Light 1, LA 2, or LA 3. Go down and apply for each of these stimuluses. I'm going to show you how this works one at a time in this accordion. But first, here's a success story. The success story is one of the brand new members. Her name is Kimberly Romano. Kimberly Romano became a recent member. Look what she got, and she wants you to know it. Kimberly Romano says, I want to share this with all the Purple Hawks. I applied for Check B in March, and in August, I got approved for 18 months of HOA fees at $360 a month, 18 months of utilities per month, and all my past due property taxes of $4,000. Folks, let's look run the math on that. 18 months of $360, wow, that is almost $8,000. Number two, $4,000 of, of, of property taxes, that is now $13,000. And 18 months of utilities, that's about $1,000 a month. That, folks, is a lot of money. That's $30,000, $40,000 at least. And she says, I recently applied for the weatherizing grant. That is check A. I'm so elated when I got the email about that approval. And that's $6,500 and $12,000. Wait, so I undercalculated her last night. She is upwards of $50,000. Brand new member, welcome and congratulations to her. Have you become a member? What are you waiting for? Go around this video, become a member. And this is stimulus. That's law and will stay law despite what happened in the midterm elections. Margaret Owens also got $600 more for utilities and she has a meeting with her utility company LG&E to get literally six more months potentially across the board. Congratulations to her. 
And this is why you got to stay here. This is why I got to tell people to come on over and watch. What are you watching? You're watching the number one most watched financial news channel in America for this subject matter. This is Ally Light. And number three overall for financial news. Now with three channels covering all the financial news you need to know. Ally Light 1, Ally Light 2, which covers stimulus and also humor, and Ally 3, which covers Wall Street and food. I'll have more about the new programming that rolled out starting today and continues tonight later in this broadcast. Let's go back into the breaking news that we're dealing with today as well, which is really that that Kohl's signaled that there's big problems with this economy, and those big problems with this economy are inconsistent. BJ's certainly was up 2.4 in pre-market trading, while Kohl's was down 3.8 in pre-market trading. And the data is indicative of a big question mark of whether these companies have misguided themselves and the markets based upon their misunderstanding of macroeconomic factors. Kohl's revenue dropped 7% in the prior quarter. Target dropped 50%. Kohl's revoked, pulled back full-year guidance when they say the macroeconomic headwinds changed and Target yesterday said the problems they had last quarter are being felt today in the month of November. This is the holiday season and this is not good in view of the consumer price index number earlier this week that said that apparel pricing dropped, apparel inflation actually dropped, so the items are cheaper but that's not bringing the consumer into the stores. And that's why the 10-year Treasury note surged to a 3.64 today when the bond traders said maybe the stock market's going to be negatively impacted. The stocks were generally down much of today on the news. Also making news was the home builders. More about them in a second. But first, let's start with the big new numbers of those, of those FSE checks. These are... Black Friday stimulus checks. These are wonderful Thanksgiving stimulus checks. These are federal stimulus checks from the president, from the Congress. Your states have nothing to do with it. It's all sent out. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible checks as a member right now. These incredible checks started with Joe Biden passing a executive action and then another executive action earlier this year. And that established the rollout of those FSC checks. Let's look at see what happened. First, Joe Biden's passed a series of executive actions which established checks A, B, and C. $100,000 of checks. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? You go into this video and become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. I'm going to show you how to get each of these checks one at a time throughout this video. Then... Congress came along and passed more checks, E through K, delivering us to hundreds of checks in a bill passed earlier this year. Those hundreds of checks obtained by LA members of this channel, Purple Power, has now grown memberships nearly 200 people every 48 hours. Why have you not become a member? Go right on this video, become a member right today. Become part of the Purple Power community and get this big sums of money. We weren't done, done there yet. Because I, in the LA newsletter, deliver you all the details. Checks L and M, N and O, P and Q added as well. Deliver for me to you, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That wonderful membership newsletter details all the money that you, as part of the Purple Power community, can get. I'm going to go over each of those incredible checks in just a second. Now, what we're looking at today and we're looking at this week is more indi indication of whether there's financial strain on this economy that is unassessed or not risk assessed at all. Let's look at the details of what we're looking at left and right. Number one, do we see that labor could potentially could be getting worse faster than we know it? Mary Daly spoke about that yesterday. She said that labor unemployment rates could go to 4 to 5%. Do we see the labor rate swirling and circling higher. Not yet, but we do see the massive pickup of layoffs with 20,000 employees at Facebook laid off, the now Meta, and the announcement from Target that $3 billion of cost cutting will happen. What are those cost cuttings going to be? If you see the retail numbers falling apart like a Target or Kohl's, you immediately think, well, the next thing could be layoffs. The next thing could be hiring freezes, and those don't work, and you don't have holiday sales you know what happens after that. 
store closures. So you're a little bit worried if that's on the horizon, but no indication about it yet that we need to know. Next up, when you look at the consumers and their spending habits, we're now starting to see exactly what we were worried about. Two months ago, the presence of the presence of American Express and Bank America addressed news when they released their third quarter earnings. They said the debt levels that they see on credit cards they have never witnessed in this generation. In the and that was evidence of the third quarter numbers they released just about a week or two ago. They said the debt levels are through the roof because people are spending massive sums of money on travel and leisure. So immediately the analysts, and I agreed, said that if consumers are spending thousands and thousands of dollars on hotel and air this fall, they won't have anything left for discretionary spending, retail spending. And we were worried that the apparel, the retail, the Target, the Walmart, the Kohl's would collapse in bad numbers when third quarter were released. Well, in the case of Target, yes, and they say the problems still continue. Kohl's, in the case of Kohl's, yes, and the problem's still continuing. Macy's, no. Walmart, no. So it is a very fluid situation, but Walmart reported big problems about this earlier this year, but apparently they were able to uh, buck the trend. Wow. Very, very important across the board. And with that, let's get some stimulus. Let's get some stimulus because you really need this. If this market is so confusing that even Walmart can beat it, but, but Target can miss it, if they can't get it right, then imagine how hard it is for other people to analyze the market as well. Let's jump in those incredible checks, starting with A, B, and C. The first three checks were passed by the President of the United States back in the month of March, and they're absolutely incredible. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for a check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And how do you get it? You go on this video, join the channel. Join LA1, LA2, or LA3. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Then go down the membership newsletter. You see the check A. Click the link and go right and apply. And get it across the board. Spell I got it. And yes, we had that Barbara Romero success story tonight. She got this check A, the weatherizing grant as well. Incredible. Then check B, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. A forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. How do you get this eighty thousand dollars plus of checks? You go under this video, join the channel, become a member, and then go down that membership newsletter. Watch the graphic. There it is. Seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time. That's ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Nine o'clock Central. Go down to where it says check B. Click the link and go right in apply. Why would you not become a member? Let look at two other success stories for check B. You already heard Barbara Romero getting those incredible numbers uh, for Check B that we led tonight's broadcast on. Kimberly Romero, I'm so sorry. Romano, I just butchered that. Kimberly Romano. Here is Frank Mancuso. What did he get for Check B? Incredible. Look at this. 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities. Folks, that's five checks a month times 18 months. That is uh, at least $10,000 right there. And then 18 months of high speed internet. Another VR of Florida got 80 to 100 checks. 80 to $100,000, 18 months of them, again from Check B. Th three v v uh, uh, viewers in different months getting all these incredible sums of money. Why would you not become a member? And remember, Frank Mancuso got this. After becoming a member in less than 30 days, he started getting close to $10,000. That's how you rock and roll. Go into this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. Next up, Check C. In the membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Go down the membership news that tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. What are you watching? You're watching LA Light, America's number one most watched financial news channel for this subject matter, and number three overall for all financial news. Now with three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. New programming launching tonight. New programming launching all today throughout the three new channels. And gotten... $50 million. Viewers of this channel have gotten $50 million since this channel launched in spring of 2020. Let's look at some of those success stories that have come in from Check C. Do you want $30,000 for rent? Go get some Check C. How about some beautiful money for utilities? Go get some Check C. And then snap. Absolutely. 
John, Mark's brother-in-law, here is Mark, he got $6,500 for utilities. The brother-in-law got $15,000. Same brother-in-law got a quarter million dollars of SNAP. Combinations of checks. Here is Nisi, who went from twenty-three to fifty thousand. Mark here was at thirty-two thousand, went to fifty, then a hundred, then one sixty-six. Lorraine was at one hundred five, and then she went to one fifty-five. Dragon, who's a triple member to all three channels, she got one hundred seventy thousand. Johnny got forty-five thousand dollars in two days, eighty thousand dollars by four days, and then got his friends and neighbors a quarter million dollars. 20 of them across the land. It's just incredible. What do you want to do? Go into this video, join the channel. Join LA1, LA2, or LA3. Go into the video, subscribe. Go into the video and hit that like button. And also make sure you hit that bell so all notifications are set to all on. And tonight, do something additional. Make sure you go over to LA, make sure you go over to LA2 and LA3 if you're not watching them yet. And make sure you subscribe and hit the alert button. Why? Because those two channels will cover more about your money for you, and you don't want to miss those shows at all. And there's a lot of exciting programs that will help you get more money in your wallet. It's on LA2 and LA3. More about that later in this recording. Now, in the big second half, we're going to continue with more federal stimulus checks. The remainder of those 300 different checks. Then we go over to inflation relief stimulus checks. These are automatic, direct deposit. Then a lifetime stimulus. And tonight, we're going to be going back to those comments by Mary Daly, the Fed governor out of San Francisco. Are you going to get four raises your benefits or three raises? I'll analyze Daly's comments and see whether she's right or wrong. Then we go over to next stimulus checks. We'll analyze the situation. This is brand new, breaking news tonight on Evening's Little Late. The analysis of what stimulus will look like in 2023 based upon a brand new Republican House and a Democratic Senate. It's all fascinating. Then I'll go back into the latest breaking news that happened in the last 24 hours. It's big and you need to know what it is. And I'll give you my commentary of what to expect in the next 24 hours. Oh, yes, the next 24 hours. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started. The deliciousness of a big night and a big show continues. I'll see you back in 60 seconds with everything you need to know as we continue with these big, bold, beautiful FSCs. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in the big second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California. Good evening. Tonight, Nancy Pelosi has stepped aside as your Speaker of the House, but will remain in, the, in her leadership position as an advisory and will keep her House seat. Meantime, Kevin McCarthy is the new Speaker of the House. The Republicans have taken the House. The Democrats have taken control of the Senate, picking up more seats across the board. Its impact on stimulus coming up later in this recording, but first, the continuation of your federal stimulus check. Good evening. How are you? Tonight, we continue with those FSC checks with a bill that passed more checks, E through K, and they're absolutely incredible. Check E, $7,500 in great, great check. F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Then G, 30% off. H, a beautiful $2,000 stimulus check. 
I, a great, great $8,000 stimulus check. J, also an $8,000 stimulus check. And then K, a $14,000 stimulus check. When we jump over to the next one, it is N. That is the check, the incredible brand new tablet, computer, a laptop, free internet that John Maloof got, then Spelly got, then Ling Lang got. Huge stimulus. O, brand new free a brand new mortgage and eight percent down and then we go over to stimulus p is three percent on existing refi and then eight thousand dollars of closing costs all for you absolutely incredible those my friends are your fsc checks federal stimulus checks all in the membership newsletter have you become a member go right on this video and do it right now the totality of those checks, the largest one hundred thousand dollars the smallest is eight thousand fastest routing time two days johnny getting forty five thousand dollars in two days by the end of the week getting eighty thousand. Fifteen programs applied half approved half rejected then helping his mom 50 his dad 50 and his neighbors 20 of them getting two hundred and fifty thousand dollars these are the incredible fsc checks some for rent utilities mortgage assistance others for home repairs and others for brand new appliances computers tablets and also for the car federal stimulus checks go get them tonight by becoming a member under this video next up inflation relief stimulus checks these are different these come from your states not from the federal government average check one thousand dollars largest check sometimes eighteen hundred dollars direct deposit otherwise in the mail how do you learn about them you go down in the membership newsletter see check d and it tells you where it is how much it is your state and how to track it across the board then up then next up is a lifetime stimulus because once your benefits go up they never go down what no one is teaching you and showing you except here in the purple power community is that you're going to get four raises and i'll analyze those four raises in view of what mary daly the fed governor out of san francisco said yesterday lifetime stimulus absolutely number one your benefits are going have already gone up 5.9 percent this year based upon last number year's numbers next year they're going eight, up 8.7 percent but with the exception of mary daly most fed governors including its president jay powell say we're not going to get inflation down until two more years from this 2024. if that's correct which i believe it is that would mean you would have two more raises after this a total of one, two, three, four raises, which means by 2024, you'll have the largest check you've ever seen of a generation. And once your check goes up, it never goes down. Even better, by year four, by 2024, the cost of living will be the cheapest ever of a generation because inflation will have been eliminated completely. Your check, however, will be the highest of a generation, while the cost to live will be at the lowest of a generation. That's wonderful, and that is the latest details tonight. Now, let's turn to next stimulus. A totally different story tonight than we thought even earlier this week. What's happening tonight? Tonight, we know this is going to be the brand new balance of power for 2023 in the House and the Senate and all the way into early into the next election. The balance of power will be the Republicans control the House. The balance of power will be the Senate will be controlled by the Democrats. Let me make something very clear to you. The House Democrats, excuse me, the House Republicans have not really agreed upon their domestic agenda. Half of the House Republicans want a very nationalist approach, which is big tariffs against other countries, and then limited spending in the United States or cut spending dramatically. The other half of the Republicans are very pro uh pro things like tariffs and border control so very very different domestic spending my prediction based upon the combination of those two things is the republicans will push items for small business items for corporations items for tax cuts much like they did in 2020 i think that's how it ultimately plays out what does that mean the Republicans are likely to bring back an EIDL grant. Absolutely. Republicans are likely to bring back a PPP loan. Absolutely. Republicans are likely to bring back more tax cuts so or tax incentives for you to spend things in a way that helps foster growth as a small business owner. Absolutely wonderful. So I certainly believe that an EIDL grant, an EIDL loan, a PPP grant and loan is likely to come back on the other side, what do Democrats want? Something totally different. So 
what parts would merge together and what parts would absolutely not happen. Tonight, my prediction is the following items will absolutely not happen. Number one, the Bernie Sanders Medicare reform will not happen. Dental, care, vision, eyeglasses, care, hearing, care, hearing aids, and lowering the eligibility of med Medicare, not going to happen. That's very, very progressive policies, not going to happen with a split balance of power. Number two, the Maxine Waters $25,000 for the purchase of a brand, house, brand new home. Just a brand, just a check for $25,000, not going to happen. Absolutely not going to happen with a Republican House. Let's go over to the Democrats. The Democrats are going to co-sign a tax cut for corporations, absolutely not. So the Democrats are going to be very against any type of tax cut. Would the Democrats support business grants? Absolutely. Absolutely, the Democrats would support business grants. What about the other elements we have talked about? Unemployment changes. This is really hard to gauge. Unemployment changes like FPUC, that's the harder one. But a PUA lifetime, possible. A extension of unemployment benefits, possible. But at FPUC of $600 a week, absolutely not happening. Absolutely not happening. Child tax credit, $300 a week, excuse me, $300 a month for children under the age of 18 for 18 years, $3,600 a year, not happening. Not happening at all. Not with a Republican Congress. So that leaves us then with the basic question, what about a simple stimulus check? Simple stimulus check actually was supported by Republicans. Simple stimulus checks are supported by Republicans. Multiple, multiple stimulus checks of 8,000, 10,000, 20,000, not going to happen. So it's a sort of a mixed bag. Stuff for businesses, small independent contractors, yes, yes. Stuff uh, that fosters growth like deductions and costs and things that help you on the bottom line, things that help you afford things like cost savings, yes, yes, yes. But just blanket checks that don't do anything other than maybe a few or small number of stimulus checks, no, I don't see that happening. I don't see 18 years of checks for children happening anytime soon. So this suddenly changes the ball game for people who are not part of the purple power. It really does change the ball game because the people who sat on the sidelines and did not become part of the purple power, that were just wishing on a star where you are, that ultimately a donut would land in their hand for doing nothing, and that donut would just be massive whopping sums of money, it ain't happening, folks. It ain't happening. The great news is that all the FSC checks, ISC checks, and LSC checks are law, and they're not gonna get revoked. The great news is that the, Dem the Republicans and Democrats may come together and do similar policies, like the first CARES Act, which require you to do things like Purple Power is doing right now, pouncing like a hawk. And that's why you have the value of the membership here. Suddenly, the value of the membership makes this channel lifetimes apart from everyone else that said, you know what, I'll just wait around. Waiting and wishing, well, bottom line is tonight the Republicans don't even know what their policy is. So how do you expect them to deliver to you if you don't even know what they're delivering at all? Congratulations to all the wonderful members of this channel who have had the hindsight and the guidance to pounce when money is available and that money is available tonight. You go around this video, become a member, get that FSC checks right now. Get those ISC checks right now. Learn about those LSC checks right now. Don't wait for an event to happen in the future because the event in the future is too confusing. This money is available right now and it's not just $10. It's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's go back into the breaking news that we're looking at tonight across the board. The breaking news that we're dealing with tonight is that the economy is starting to become so extenuously confusing that even Fed governors are disagreeing upon the data. In the eight months that we've been featuring these Fed governors really in detail, we've never seen the discord at the moment so pronounced. Number one, they cannot agree upon the data. Number two, they cannot agree upon whether inflation's come down. Number three, they cannot agree upon when we're going to be done with this. Is there anything universal among them that we really need to focus on? We really need to focus on how many data points you and I see that they see where inflation is flat, inflation is higher, or inflation is lower. Because ultimately, Mary Daly can tell us she sees something alive in the community, but ultimately, another Fed governor in another part of the country doesn't see that data the same way. Everyone sees the CPI. 
Everyone sees the PPI. Everyone sees the personal consumption expenditure index. And when I pull out that CPI and I read from it over the last week and I say, hey, there's 80 items in here and 78 were up and two are down, you know inflation's still going up. It doesn't lie. Other data that we look at, of course, is the home builder sentiment. Home builder sentiment has dropped now to the lowest of a decade. With the number of homes going into discount mode, reducing the price point, even more pronounced than before. 26% of homes were dropping prices in September. That has grown to 37% in the month of November. We potentially could go to 50% by December. The confidence among builders has dropped to the lowest level of generation, now 11 consecutive months of declining numbers across the board. And when Stephanie Link at Hightower says that the problem of Target, Target, Target department stores was a lack of discretionary spending, the Federal Reserve sees that. Everyone sees when Target misses. We also see when you go in the stores and there's no one there. The question mark is whether that's what we're going to see next. Ultimately, you are the eyes and the ears. So jump in the live chat. Let's go over this discussion right now. And we're going to really ramp up as we get closer to Black Friday in this discussion. Jump in the live chat and write any particular store you have been in this week and you saw it empty when it normally is not. Write the name of the store, comma, empty in the live chat so we get an indication of really what's going on. Then if you see a store that is normally, you know, has some foot traffic but not a lot, but selling was very busy, write the store, comma, very busy. My personal takeaway, I see the apparel getting really weak. I've seen apparel locally and online very, very weak. The demand not particularly there, even less demand than even earlier this year. I see the, it's not travel and leisure, it's hospitality, the restaurants actually picking up on customer base. I've seen more people in restaurants than I saw about two months ago. Maybe it's the holiday meals. Maybe it's it, maybe it's the cold weather. They want to be inside rather than outside. I see more people dining out than I did nearly two months ago. And finally, the element of the groceries. I see less people in the supermarket than even than even a few weeks ago. The number of people in the supermarket is getting less and less on a regular basis. Different supermarkets, still less people. Do you see that as well? Do you see that as well? Because ultimately, this lack of demand is what the Fed governors are looking at. And that lack of demand is indication of what fourth quarter numbers would look like as well. The importance of that December 1 personal consumption expenditure index is it there or is it not? Let me go over the latest details on that tonight as well. On December 1, we'll get the PCE, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, which is an inflationary benchmark released. It's big. It's the last inflationary number that comes right before the CPI in early December. And it's a number that those Fed governors are going to rely upon heavily. If that PCE is basically flat, and mirrors the last CPI, then expect a 50 basis point increase from the Federal Reserve governors just days later. If that PCE is actually much higher than expected, then uh, we could potentially put back 75 basis point on the table as a potential outlook for December raises. Fascinating and fascinating to know across the board. Also fascinating is the new programming coming to this family. Three channels and lots of excitement across the board. Today we tested out a brand new show and you really liked it. So I think it's going to be a new fixture in this family. It's called Wall Street Live. Wall Street Live will air on LA Late 3 in the mornings on the West Coast in the noontime on the East Coast. It will air at about uh, 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what is it? It's a live broadcast as the markets open Wall Street stocks and bonds. And it'll be a preview of what that afternoon show on LA1 will look like. You will actually be go behind the scenes and see a live taping of afternoon's LA before it actually airs. Next up, is the return of humor to LA2. LA2 is rolling out those humor shows, Javita Lates, Sir Loin, and Blaine 66, all coming back with 
old programming and new shows as well. LA3, in later by the end of this week, will roll out the cooking shows. And if you have other programming you want to see, get ready and start requesting it in the live chat and also in private message on Facebook. LA3 will roll out stocks and crypto, and LA2 will roll out more about your stimulus with a live Q&A show anticipated as well. For the shorts of Santa Monica, California, it's been a great day. It's been a great week, and it's just getting started. The programming also is just getting started with Evenings LA every night at 5 o'clock. Countdown at 6 o'clock, stream and stimulus at 7, 8 o'clock is extra, 9 o'clock is sunset. Have you become a member? Come on already. Go on to this video, become a member. Become the next Beverly and be sitting on 80 to 100 checks. Go on to this video, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And for the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful night. Always pounce, always get the money on the come. And do what's deserving for you. Be informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.